Well, basically, when I first joined IG, like, I think it was, like, seven, eight years ago, mm. obviously, like, I know a few girls and that. Like, mm. I'm known in my area and stuff like that. And what then, area is that? Barking. Barking, yeah. oh. Barking. So, like, obviously, I'm from Barking, but I know a few people from East, etc. Mm, I know, I know, beer barking, girl, then, but go on. Yeah, but so, obviously, like... Maybe because I dress nice and stuff and people follow me and stuff, innit? But sometimes it could be for politics. It just depends, innit? You're so. a bit confident. No, I'm not a bit confident. I'm very confident. You're extremely confident. Yeah, <laughs> yeah maybe because I dress nice. Like, yeah. Clark, watch out now. Yeah, I'm very confident. So is yeah. that why people follow you? No, it's not, it's not that. But people can follow me for different reasons. Yeah, yeah. People can follow me because... Like, I've come from the hood mm -hmm. and, you know, I'm inspiring the sense that I went to uni. I got I got a, I got a bachelor's. Because I, I follow a you, I don't even know why I follow you. Exactly. Do you so, get what I'm saying? Like, exactly. So, obviously, it could be for different type of reasons, mm, you understand? No, but actually, I know why I follow you. I'm going mad. I'm just So, why do you follow me? Because from Twitter. I remember you Twitter. from Twitter. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I remember you from Twitter. You're always talking. I used to be a, a fan of mine. used to rate mine, innit? Now you don't because obviously I've gotten a bit older and uglier. What are you talking about? No, oh, listen, yeah, this mm. is so funny, yeah. Mm. <laughs> when me and my friends here, yeah, we was all young back in the days, mm. like, yeah. Obviously, you had like so solid crew, mm. boom. Then obviously, when, I think when I, I think I must have been like 18, 17. Mm. Then you just heard boom, North Star. Come on. And then obviously, spray, it was just. It was madness, <laughs> like, it was madness. When I was young, like, you know, when Spray used to release his tune and stuff. It was just mad, like, because obviously it, you just used to hear about North Star, you're seeing jewellery. It was just, yeah, it was crazy, mad, like, was obviously, them times, obviously, do you get what I'm saying? But mm. obviously people change, people grow up and stuff like that, do you understand? But it doesn't mean that I don't rate you or anything like yeah, that, do you no, get no, what I'm I mean? Joking, I'm joking, oh, man. I know you're joking, joking, but, like, yeah. I'm joking, man. I rate you, I rate you just in the sense of, you know, like, you're just a black girl, just out there doing it. Because obviously when I look on the gram, I see, like, you know, there's bare different... Mm -hmm. people and it's like it's kind of like aimed it's like what cream said like sometimes they make black girls feel like they're not as i don't know nice or powerful as the other mm. girls or no, so definitely. i like to see your confidence as a black woman that's do you get what i'm trying I to like say to because well. do you know what i mean it's not about just light skinned girls or skin white girls, girls no. or, do you know what i mean so i like to see the confidence the, you know yeah. i like that and i think you know, yeah, I think, nah, good. I, I thought, nah, I'm going to give you a bus on the show. Are you mad? <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Give, yeah, you get what I'm saying? Cause I need some girl energy in it. So I thought, mm. all right, cool. Thanks for the invite. And obviously, when I spoke to you about the... Um, the grieving. You know what I mean? So we're going to get into that. Um, but yeah, carry on with your story. I don't know, like, not even your story, but where do you yeah, come like up? Snow, like, obviously, yeah. I'm from Barking and... Um, I grew up in Barking, etc. And then I used to roll with New Home and stuff. And... Like, those days, I think it was, like, Kids in the Hood. Mm. Like, Titch, when Titch was on fire, like, Free crazy. Titch, man. Like, I can see you, it was mad. It was, like, crazy. Those mm. were the times. And obviously, like, when you're a girl, you par with Mandem, et cetera, mm. you're, you're, you're known, innit? Mm. You, you become known. You start going in different areas, et cetera. Like, we used to go raves, Young Man Standing, and all mm -hmm. them type of stuff. So you get to, like, automatically meet people. And everyone you met when you was kind of young... You you kind of grow up to kind of know them, especially with Instagram. Everyone links up, and everyone's kind of still not on the same thing. But mm. you eventually see people anyway. Do you understand where I'm coming from? Mm. Right. Yeah. Okay. So how was school? Like, what school did you go? Oh, I was. Was, just, you, was your good girl? Or was you a bad no, girl? When I, no, how was you in it? When like, I was younger, yeah, I was. When I was cream young, was a bad girl. Still. <laughs> when I was younger, no, no, I'm baiting you. No. Obviously, when I was younger, yeah, I used to get in trouble and stuff like that. Mm. And I feel like this is why people follow me because when I used to be young, obviously I went to secure unit, did a few birds and stuff like that. Okay, and what did you go secure unit for? Um, I can't even. Because I didn't even reach secure unit. Uh, You're I, moving I, earlier than me. I can't even remember, but anyway. No, you can remember, but we'll, yeah. <laughs> no, let's no, no. Crack anyway, yeah, let's crack on. anyway, I used to go. <laughs> yeah. I went to secure unit and stuff, <laughs> and obviously I've come out. I've got a bit older. Had my youth. Some madness happened. I wasn't even involved in it. I ended up getting bird. I ended up getting like I ended up getting I think two do one and I did seven and a half months mm. and that that's mm. you're just that 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 it's that, some Google thing it, with it, you it, just Google her, no that, that was I need I'm, to find I, out I, I ain't hit on Google but it was oh. just like some it was some long thing anyway mm -hmm. yeah so obviously when I when I went in I just put my head down I was bare stress and then man left their thing in your yard or something. Me, do I, like, do I look like that, bruv? <laughs> I don't know what's going nah. on. Okay. But anyway, yeah. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Exactly. So, like, after, when I was when I was inside, I said to, I, I planned certain things, in it. Mm -hmm. I said, when I'm going to, when I come out, I'm going to do certain things, in it. Mm -hmm. So, obviously, came out, 
when uni got my bachelor's in psychology and criminology i said fuck it i'm gonna go and do my ms Mm. i ended up doing my uh, ms although i'm I'm dyslexic i Mm. still manage i had a very good support system as Mm. my lecturers and stuff like that oh that's good so obviously that's that's definitely inspiring leaving school in year nine Mm. not having no gcse's and being on the roads and then obviously going to do access calls and then going to uni graduating being the only one from my family although i was the youngest and the baddest Mm. i've managed to like I've managed to sort myself out. Like, yeah, and I've managed yeah. to turn myself around. And I'm proud of myself, do you understand? I'm proud of you because you know what, yeah? To be fair, the narrative we push on the show is like going from bad to good. Because obviously, mm, yeah. no man's up, you know what I mean? Mm, yeah. With the, you know what I mean? A wicked yeah. youth. So, and then man's trying to change. So it's the same goes with girls, I suppose. Yeah, there on. must be so much girls yeah. like you that's just going mad as a youth. So talk to them as well, innit? Tell them that they can do better in that. Well, innit? I do, like, right now, I'm in recovery, innit? I work with um, clients that are on alcohol and substance misuse, innit? So mm. that's something that I do. And my job, like, I feel like I have a purpose because mm. I'm helping. Mm. I'm helping. Coming from an area where they used to call, call it crack paradise, yeah? Mm. I'm helping. I feel like I'm giving back to the community. I've yeah. got, like, a routine. I feel, I feel like I'm doing things that people, society, said that I couldn't do. Do you understand where I'm coming from? Mm. Like... I'm the only one that all my friends that didn't finish school, but I'm the most qualified at my friends. <laughs> wow. Do you understand? So mm. at the end of the day, it's just like a little message for anyone that's going through stuff. It might not even be crim- crime. It might just, it could be anything. But like once you put your head down mm-hmm. and you put yourself first, that might require put some friends on the side. Like you're able to, like you will definitely be able to do it. Nothing is impossible if you can imagine it. Mm. Yeah. Well and, 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 and that's just it and everyone you've got to remember timing you see timing you could be trying mm-hmm. to do something for years i started attempting to go uni my son's nine i started attempting to go uni two years before my son mm-hmm. uh, was born i flopped the first year second year had a baby fourth year ended up going going jail and stuff like that but when i came out I started from scratch. Yeah. And I did it, do you mm. understand? And focus that's was something different. that's something that nobody can take from me, do you mm. understand? No, mm. no one can ever take that away from me. And that's obviously that's helped me encourage me and that's helped me like obviously do what I'm what I do now. Like I got my job and stuff, mm. so you know. Yeah. How did how did you do your bird? How was you? Uh how, how old was I? No, how did you do it? Did you keep to yourself? Oh, um, did you have any fights? Did you No, 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 no. Okay. I never had no fights, like when I went in there, there were some people, like, some of them I knew from Secure, and I just mm-hmm. said to myself, fuck this. I'm not going to be a, I'm not going to be an example of society, like, you know, repetitive behaviour. Mm. Mm. And then, obviously, I had, like, a few girls there, etc. But I just I just got on with everyone, innit? Yeah. Do you understand? When I got in there, I got hard on praying. I started praying hard. I started fasting. Mm. I was focusing. Although I went jail, it was such a bad time, yeah? Mm. But it was like a reality check. Mm-hmm. It's like... I needed that, do you understand? That was the beginning of my journey, do you understand what I'm saying? So that's just the way that I look at it, do you get Mm. what I mean? But Mm. as fighting in jail, no, 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 no fighting. It was was strictly church, gym, because I used to suffer from bad anxiety. Mm. So it was just gym twice a day, gym twice a day and going to the prayer. Gym helps, man. And that's it, and I come out and everything that I actually planned, we thank God. I've even got bigger stuff because mm. I never expected like to get a master's. Like I'm mm. dyslexic, do you understand? Yeah. I had like a free hour. Now you got your writing masters. Exam, writing exam. You got your masters. Yeah, I've got my masters. Now you know what? That's good. Pound sterling time. Celebration. Celebration. <laughs> Celebration. Pound sterling. Even though people, I, I ain't got. I, now even though nothing, but pound sterling. <laughs> even though nothing, but yeah. Pound sterling. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah, man. So now, big you up for that Masters, though. And big up Pound Sterling. Big up Pound Sterling and Dugston, them man there. It is nice. It's nice. Yeah, this is nice. Yeah, it's nice. Yes. Give me a cheers, This though. is nice. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Uh, is it me? Cream don't left me, you know? What? And big up for coming to Gooch, man. Right. You know what I mean? I was having a stressful um, week and whatnot. I wasn't even going to do it today. But um, yeah, no, nah, we're here. So let's have fun. Um, right. So you got your degree. Um, and then, then what? I got my degree. I finished my master's and my life was going all daisy sick. Like I've done, I felt like, you know, I'm on top of the world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Boom. The day my master's degree comes out of pass, my brother passed away. I didn't find out mm -hmm. till the next day because I was trying to go and do my PhD. I was going for an interview to do my PhD. Mm -hmm. And as I think I've reached Holloway where the Argos is, mm -hmm. I got a phone call and snap from one of my brethren's friend. Oh, your, your brother's dead. And I was like, what? Your brother's dead? Mm -hmm. That's when like everything like went crazy for me. But you know what? I thank God mm. that I've been through certain circumstances and there's always light after. Do you understand what I'm saying? Alhamdulillah. So I went through my whole process of like being depressed. It was just, it was very, it, it, it was crazy because you don't expect your, me and my brother were two years apart. You don't expect yeah. your mm. brother to pass away. It's more like when your like mum or dad. Yeah. Do you understand? Mm. We're so, me and my brother, me and my brother, we were so close. You don't mind, how did he die? Basically, my brother went, my brother went OT and he was just like in a very bad state that he kept away from everybody. And he just... OD'd, he just took care of him for the first time and he OD'd. Mm -hmm. Hence why, that's why I'm in my role, what I do now, because right. there's a lot of black, there's a, there's, there's a lot of black males mm. that go through these things, coming from a very black hood area, mm -hmm. doing those type of things is seen as a taboo. So even if you, you are struggling with it, it's kind of hard for you to like, tell somebody, do you understand where I'm coming mm -hmm. from? It's, it's hard, it's very shameful, do you understand what I'm saying? And to be so from the hood and to know your brother passed away like that, it's like there's anger, there's rage, mm. then there's disappointment. There's just so much feelings. But yeah. at the end of the day, what you feel, it's like, it's a pain inside. It's mm. it's very, it's, mm. it's very awkward. Like the pain, it's like your heart just shrinks. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? And mm. it was a hard time and it still is a hard time. Do you understand mm -hmm. what I'm saying? It was his, it was his uh, birthday, like a couple of days ago, R.I.P. Kangi. So, man. so you know, so but I've got like very good support system and stuff, and I thank God in it. So yeah. Mm, do you know what it is like? Obviously, um, the main subject is death. Yeah, which coincides with a lot of the current affairs, mm -hmm. like Prince Philip, my dog DMX, mm. grew up with the nigga, you know. Dark Man X, you get me? That one, I felt that one still. And um, I felt DMX like he's my bridging. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, I remember DMX, like, see like when man. I see people posting people when they die, I think, what are you posting him for? You yeah. didn't know him. Mm -hmm. And I don't laugh and I think, you didn't know him, but X, like I thought, mm -hmm. nah, X, man, cause he's such a haunted guy, you get what I'm saying? Oh, mate. Like X, I grew up with X, like he kept man solid. The first time I went yeah. jail, you know what I mean? I'm listening to him and you get air, this you would not have it. Mm. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? So I'm definitely not having it. You know what like? He was one of like the first rappers like that rap like that that I've seen go on stage and start praying. You know, like just mm -hmm. break out in prayer. He's a madman. Just you know, like I bet he's the first rapper you see go on stage and start crying as well. Listen, the guy's lost it, but no, but why? He's but, real. but why would but you he, say he's lost it? Because he's showing his emotions. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's what it was. Mm. If I'm upset now, I'm a person. I'm a person. If I'm upset, if I'm really angry, I cry. Mm. Yeah, now DMX lost it. He clearly lost it. Do you get what I'm saying? But to me, it might. But I, lo I've lost it to people as well. Do you get what I'm saying? But it's like it's everyone's interpretation. Yeah, I, do you get yeah, what I'm I, I say? wouldn't say that he when he when I used to see him on stage, I wouldn't say he lost it. I just say like he was really transparent. Mm -hmm. He had a transparency about him that mm. you never mm -hmm. really see artists mm -hmm. have. That's what it is, yeah, you yeah, understand? Yeah. He had a drug addiction as well. Yeah. yeah. So I understand that as well. Yeah. So whilst everyone so that's lost it to me. Do you know what I mean? And depending on what he was taking, that caused crack. psychosis. You okay, get what I'm saying? He's so food, mm. innit? He used to bun food, innit? Mm. Like when I was like, that to me, I'd lost it at that time. You know what I mean? Type of thing. Oh, not, did you used to bun food, a, did you say? Yes, oh, okay. and so what? And it was when I was younger and it was a rude way thing. But um, I got over, I went past that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm trying to say? Because 
it was just, it was them days, innit? I remember years and years ago, I was in Kilburn Eye Road and I remember DMX was in London and he was staying at, like, um, there was a hotel called the Marriott at the bottom of Kilburn High Road. Mm. And I was walking on the high street and I, like, just saw him and his entourage, like, just walking past. And he was like, look, there's DMX. Like, mm -hmm. you know, like, when you just see somebody just randomly, like, walking mm. on high street. But yeah, man, I used to love DMX, man. Yeah, man, big up X. Yeah, man, man. RIP. Oh, but do you know what, though?